Well, President Obama is struggling to find a replacement for former Secretary uh, of Defense Chuck Hagel after his unexpected resignation last week. So who should take Hagel's place and why is this search so difficult? Joining us now is Fox News contributor Pete Hegseth. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Rick. So uh, this is going to be a very tough one, it certainly appears. We've had three uh, secretaries of defense that have all been there for a short amount of time. You might think this is a position that somebody would want, but maybe not in this case. Uh, we, you have some ideas as to why this is a problem. First, you say the president has been leading from behind. Yeah, the next secretary is going to inherit the policies of this administration, which have made America weaker and the world more dangerous. And and they've shown uh, not just uh, not just those policies, but it's been they've been micromanaged. To the second point, uh, from uh, from the White House, so the NSC and the White House have micromanaged the Pentagon time and time again. So this uh, the next secretary of defense, it's not clear they'll be able to set their own defense policy. The White House uh, political advisors do that. Yeah. Okay. And then the third thing you say is the budget cuts in the Pentagon. I mean, these have been extreme. It doesn't look like that is going to be changing at any time. So the person comes in uh, with not that mon much money to work with. Talk about that. Yeah, they're inheriting sequestration. Our, we're not modernizing. Uh, we're not training and equipping the way we should. And it's not clear this White House is going to change that. So why would the next defense secretary want to usher in more cuts and undermine even further our defenses? All right. So Jay Johnson from Homeland Security at this point looks like maybe one of the leading contenders. Uh, and he was uh, 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 voted in fairly easily. But now we have a different results after the midterm elections, Republicans controlling the Senate and the House. What do you think about that? Well, th that's right. So because Republicans control the Senate, uh, it'll be difficult to push along a left-wing nominee. Jay Johnson doesn't have any real credentials other than being a Pentagon, the former Pentagon lawyer. So uh, DHS was one thing, DOD's another, and he would be sort of a, a total yes man for the White House on their policies. It's not clear uh, defense-minded Republicans in the Senate would be eager to confirm him with the same latitude they did before. Okay, and you say there is a short-term problem. What do you mean by that? Yeah, it, 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 uh, this president is a lame duck, and, and whatever D secretary comes in with him is not going to have the time or the runway to initiate real change or real independent thinking on defense thinking. They're probably going to have to default, again, to the White House uh, and, and, their, and their belief about national security policy. So who wants a 18-month uh, job where they can't really change anything? Yeah, right certainly now? a tough one. All right, you have some ideas, though, of who you think could be some, uh, some of the right picks. Tell me about some of your ideas. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to think of who might be palatable to this administration. So in a perfect world, I would pick so, some other folks as well. But, you know, you got a Joe Lieberman, former senator from Connecticut, who's always been a thought leader on foreign policy and defense issues, would make a, a great uh, secretary of defense. H.R. McMaster's at TRADOC right now. Uh, he's seen many different, he's always been a forward-thinking military leader, and he's been put on some of the toughest assignments uh, and has been in some of the toughest places uh, in Iraq. And then uh, James Mattis, Mad Dog Mattis, is, of course, uh, a legendary in the Marine Corps. I don't know if this administration would want to pick him because he would tell it like it is, but boy, this, this nation could use a guy like Mad Dog Mattis to have the backs of the warfighters who wants to defeat the enemy and will give honest feedback to a White House, which is a drift in their lead from behind policies. So guys like this would do a fantastic job. Unfortunately, Rick, we probably won't get any of them. Yeah, hey, real quickly, any idea when you think we might have a name thrown out there by the administration? You know, in my mind, they would they would probably want to do it sooner rather than later to try to squeak it in before Republicans uh, control the Senate. But it's unlikely right now. Their first couple of picks have bowed out. Uh, and so they're scraping to find out who wants the job uh, and who could get confirmed. Yeah. All right. Pete Hexeth, thank you very much. You got it. All right.